Let's learn how to add a time to climb to turbocharge your multiple choice quiz and gamify checks for understanding. In the activity and content selector menu, choose quizzes and games. Then time to climb. And click add to begin creating a time to climb in your Nearpod lesson. There are three basic steps to creating or editing a time to climb game. Step one, create or edit each question. Add two to four answer options. Response choices can be either text or images. Don't forget to click the check mark to indicate the correct answer or answers. Step two, adjust the timer for the question and add an image for reference if one is needed. Click add question and repeat steps one and two for each question. Step three, click save to add the game to your lesson. If this is a new question, you will find it at the end of your lesson and can drag it to the best location. To edit this or any other activity, double click the activity to start editing. Consider two ways you might use the time to climb game. The most basic way to use a time to climb is as a replacement for any kind of multiple choice questions to check student learning at the end of a lesson. Another way to use the time to climb game is by taking advantage of the option to pause between questions. Create questions that will introduce a new concept or will generate discussion based on responses. Use the pause to review the data on the teacher dashboard and have a quick mini lesson addressing the new learning. When using any time to climb in a live lesson, you will have the option to choose a fun theme, randomize the answers, pause the game, and adjust the sound before the students join the game. A pro tip about time to climb is any quiz in Nearpod can be converted to a time to climb using the convert to time to climb button at the top of the screen when you click one time on a quiz. Keep the original quiz. Use the time to climb at the beginning of the lesson as a fun pre-assessment and use the quiz at the end as the more formal post-assessment to show growth.